Hello, Facebook, YouTube. Had a great conversation. Had a great conversation going on. Oh, I love conversation, y'all. I love talking about, you know, anything. I like talking about everything. I don't just talk about the Lord. I talk about all kind of stuff. I mean, I know y'all see me talk about the Lord so much. I think that's all he talk about the Lord. That's all he talk about the Lord. Yes, that's all. Well, that's the main thing I talk about. But I talk about all kind of stuff in the world, you know, everything, you know, very, you know, all things to all men. That's what God, you know, make people to be. But I talk about a lot of stuff, you know, sports mainly, you know. I might fool with your politics. I might fool with, um, but, you know, other things like, you know, arts and all kind of other stuff. I talk about a lot of things about that too, you know, other things, you know. But that's what God, you know, makes you I mean, kind of person to be. But, you know, that's not the message that I want to present to you. But I want to, you know, teach you about, you know, you know, here's the problem that, you know, that we become dumb to, you know, as human beings. I'm talking to humanity. You know, humanity is not understanding this one ideal reality of life and it's kicking everybody's behind making people miserable, making people feel bad, making people feel sad, making people, this here, y'all better have y'all ears wide open on this one. It's called everything factors in. Say it with me. Everything factors, factors in life. <laughs> Oh, I don't know if none of y'all heard me out there, but I'm finna explain what that means. That, you know, people think, you know, they y'all y'all just do human beings. You know, y'all y'all human beings. I, I heard somebody said, and it's a good quote, there's too many people, human beings, and not human doing. Yeah. But, yeah, I believe there's human doing, but what are they doing is very important to factor factor in the matter of things you know what you're doing will factor in you know we think you know like i was explaining to a friend of mine that you know i work for you know bright and clean you know about you know like a sports athlete you know if a sports athlete get injured you know you know People think, oh, you know, we look at the, you know, sport, whatever we're looking at. They're on the sideline, you know, looking at the game. See, here's the thing about the body that we have to understand. The body, you know, responds as, as much as how we treat it. The body will respond, you know, as much as how we think and how much of how we, you know, do it responds accordingly to that. Now imagine whatever, I'm finna pick a sport, football, <laughs> and I'm playing football, I am a uh, running back. Yeah, I'm a running back, and I'm running the ball a lot, but I get injured on my, uh, the ugly ACL, ugly injuries, ooh, that can <laughs> cost you big time. But you know, then cost the other guy from, you know, Minnesota Vikings, you know, he made it through, you know, trying to remember the name but anyway uh he get an injury now when the body is sitting down you know and the body has been active the body has been running the muscles have been you know working the heart has been working you know uh, you know for a while playing since literally since high school since college the, the muscles been working but now the muscles has to stop you know uh, I mean, it has to slow down, you know. The muscles have to slow down, and now, now it, the factor that what factors in because of an uh, injury, they the body doesn't work as much as it normally do. Now here's the idea: the heart and the muscles are going to speak to you, but they're not gonna. Speak talk to you like with their words they're going to talk to you of how they feel because they like wait a minute where's that you know performance level that you normally been doing occasionally 
that I use, I'm used to having. Where's that performance? And the muscles and the leg muscles is going to say, where's that performance level, you know, that you're doing, you know, and that you've been doing a lot. What, where is that performance level? You know, everything is going to start contributing and say, whoa, whoa, what, what happened to all this performance level we've been working our body? It's going to nag on you. It's going to nag on you. And you're going to start feeling a little stressful. It's going to build stress, you know, that, you know, you're in, but you're injured and you're unactive. And that's what's going to really, per, you know, start proceeding to you know, Bill, you know, that was going to probably nag you and can make you angry and you start feeling angry and you start, you know, lashing out at other people, you know, that all that factors in, you know, that can, it's just this thing that we may consider little starts to factor in concerning, you know, how things are, you know, and people are not realizing that idea that the little things, what uh, Jesus said, the little foxes, you know, can do damage more bigger than, you know, an elephant stepping on you. But the little foxes just niching, nudging, niching, nudging, niching, nudging, niching, nudging, and all of a sudden it produces something. Oh, they now you're frustrated. Now this person's mad. Now this person, you know. Don't want to, you know, the person was married. Now he's mad, mad at, you know, his, 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 his wife, you know, he wanted a divorce, you know. And now his kids, you know, you know, they don't, you know, he don't want to spend time. You know, stuff like that factors in. Yes. Like, look, let me, God taught me this about life, about being adult. He, he taught me about adult is all about being a professional. They, your, your parents are supposed to raise you to become professionals. And the problem is that, you know, that, that in a profession, an adult is a stage. You know, it's a different new stage. It's different from that teenager stage, you know. You know, like mother, mother, dad, 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 can you do this, can you do this? But that adult stage, you know, that young adult, I call it young adult stage, and there is a such thing of a young adult stage because in that transition that young person has to realize that he is now have to develop this responsibilities of taking care of things on their own you know and that psyche is way different that you know whoa I can't go the places I used to go at particular time that I used to be in wait a minute I can't engage myself in activities that you know that I used to do in high school in this particular level. No, I can't, you know, be in you know involved with these kind of people in this stage of my life because this is gonna be unhealthy for my adult period that I have to learn how to become a professional at handling things appropriate way of making better decisions of what I do in life if I want to uh, prosper in life, you know, is all that factors in that a lot of people are not understanding, you know, uh, I'm finna talk to my youth, you know, <laughs> you know, it's funny, you know, the youth are, I love the youth because I love the future. The future. I'm talking to the future here. And I hope you talk to your future with this. Uh, um, I was at a, um, I'm a, a youth pastor, uh, you know, my, me and my friend Damaris. We told the youth about something happened to a 16 year old boy. A 16 year old boy died in a car accident. And I looked at the kid's expression of hearing the information and they looked at like like oh oh that's that's sad you know oh that's I feel bad about that you know and I'm like hmm you know it's like it, the expression though the facial expression is like hmm that was dim but that wasn't really me you know that's what the kind of the expression look like, oh, well, that happened to them, but not me. 
<laughs> and I'm like, whoa, I saw a look on a certain individual face. I'm not going to say her name. But as I saw the face, like, well, you know, that will happen to them. But, you know, I'm doing all right. It's like, they, they don't, not aware that, guess what? Uh, the same thing that happened to them can possibly happen to you if you're not careful. Yeah, they didn't really get that. Now, I understand, you know, team most... <laughs> Majority teenagers got that, you know, mindset that, oh, I'm invincible, you know, and they got that super, I call it the Superman that I can, you know, or I call it Super Dave, because Super Dave is a daredevil, and he's a daredevil that do, you know, death, defi death defying stunts and survive them, <laughs> Kind of that's a, kind of like idea of sinner. You do something, you know, because the wages of sin is, mm, yeah. But they do death defying stunts and they survive at the end. And that's what, you know, these teenagers think that, you know, they listen to music. I call it Super Dave, you know, music that tell them that I can do this death defying stunt and I can survive at the end of it, you know. And they engage in, of course, activity that is death-defying. That whoa, in this situation, certain people, you know, perish at these kind of activities. I don't know if you're gonna survive these kind of activities, but they, you know, like oh no, I'm I'm different from them. It, you know, I'm different from them. I can survive this kind of death-defying stunts. You know. And they don't look at it that way, you know. I mean, well, that's how they look at it. They look at it. that's how the, you hear parents. That's what their teenagers, you know, they got this idea. Well, we can survive these death-defying, you know, you know, stunts. Like that's what they think. But you know, <laughs> but here's you, teen, uh, parents. It's important you to talk to your teenagers. Now I know parents. Y'all used to telling your teenagers that this is wrong. But there's a difference between talk and telling somebody. Talking, let me show, telling is giving them a law in the rule book and say, you do this or else, da, 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 da. And that, in telling people what the response of most of the time when you tell teenagers, this, they get this thing called from Lucifer that, you know, did to God, they rebel against what you tell. See, it goes tell, rebel. But talk to them is like to, you know, get an understanding of where, you know, you're going concerning the whatever you have to talk about, you know, the stipulations of presenting the, if you do this, this is going to happen. This could happen. If you do that, that could happen. And guess what? This here that happened, you know, happened to millions of people, billions of people, all through human history. When they made this decision, this negative thing happened, you know, you know, but, you know, these people that choose not to do this made a positive thing. This what positive outcome happened. Mainly is the idea that a parent has to explain to their, you know, kid, you know, that it's important. Because guess what? Everything factors in. Regardless, every little thing, everything you do, whatever, how you do things, who, what, when, where, how, or whatever, factors in in life. And that's what a lot of people are not trying to understand concerning living this life. But guess what? Through Christ Jesus... He can help you, give you the insight of how to really explain to your kids the right way, and the teenagers too, and, and people, and young adults, the right way to how to see life and see that negative and see that positive and see that you have to make a decision to, you know, make the right things. All right, that's the end of the message. I hope that, you know, you got the blessing and I hope that you, you know, understand what I'm trying to say. Everything factors in in life. Every minute thing, little atoms create, you know, matter that creates, you know, things that we see right now. Okay.